Recognize for two minutes. Well, I, I thank the, uh, the ranking member for yielding, and I actually moved to Bainbridge Township now, so, I, ah, so nobody can find me. Uh, Madam Speaker, this was a, a bad bill that we voted on Monday. It got a little better with some tax extenders with the FDI and C insurance, but it's gotten a lot worse. And it's gotten a lot worse because our friends on the other side of the Capitol just couldn't help themselves. They couldn't help themselves by larding this bill up with another $180 billion of tax giveaways. As a matter of fact, Madam Speaker, I urge you to read yesterday's uh, New York Times. There's a provision in here for $2 million for wooden arrows for children. It apparently benefits a company in Oregon, and God bless any Oregonian that got it into the bill. And the CEO of the company says, we're waiting, and if we get it into the House bill and they pass it, we will be uh, unpopping the champagne corks here because this is a great deal for my company. How am I going to tell the people back in Ohio that the champagne corks are popping in Oregon over a tax subsidy of $2 million for wooden arrows, $192 million for rum? Madam Speaker, uh, last night I took an amendment to the Rules Committee, and I asked one simple thing, to save half a trillion dollars. Take the number down to $250 billion. I asked that the vote that when we come back, when the Secretary says he wants more money, make it a positive vote, not a negative vote that the President can veto, and I stripped the pork. Eight to four was the vote last night, Madam Speaker. Each of us represents about 600,000 people. 4.8 million people voted to deny 300 million people the vote. There is not a rush. The Senate's in town. Let's do it right. We can save half a trillion dollars and we can cut the pork. The pork doesn't belong in this bill. This is a financial rescue package. We're being told that the economy is melting down. Uh, well, I don't need that one. And, and the number, Madam Speaker, here we go. Where did $700 billion come from? The administration says we didn't have any data point. We just wanted to pick a really large number. Come on, $700 billion for NASCAR, rum, television, and wooden arrows for children. Vote no on this egregious rule Madam and the bill. Gentlewoman from New York.